What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Realistic Career Mode. It is episode number 50. It is the thank you special today and I want to start today's episode by saying thank you sincerely for the support and the save. It's been fantastic man I really appreciate it. I do a Realistic Career Mode every single year and they always go down really well with you guys and this one's been no exception. So thank you so much for the feedback man. I have loved this save so much man. It has been class. We're coming towards the finale of season 6. It's been brilliant. So from me to you, thank you. And for in 50 episodes in the save, for new viewers, whenever we do hit 50 or 100, we do a thank you special. So today what we'll have is the Champions League quarterfinals, both the first leg and the second leg, with the first one being away at the Bayer Arena. We'll have the uh, league games coming towards the conclusion. Uh, right now, six clear of New uh, Manchester City and eight clear of Newcastle after our massive 2-1 victory against them in the last episode. That can't be understated there. Great chance to pull away today and try and win this 3P. And we'll have the FA Cup semi-final against Spurs. There's loads to get through in the thank you special. Let's crack straight on. Yep, let's go first game of many today by the Vacuum away to buy a Reed. Having a tough season domestically in the save right now in sixth. Not doing very well, but their team is still unbelievable, as we know. Xavi Alonso's got them playing in real life, going for that Bundesliga title. Looks almost nailed on now. They're going to win it. And in the save, they've got an amazing team as well. So taking no chances here. Certainly, despite being considered favourites, not going to be one side at all. First game, by the Vacuum away. Come on, Liverpool. Yep, fantastic team. Uh, they've got one of my favourite players in FC this year, which is Sanchez. Uh, in their side, they've got a 92 overall Florian Verts who stayed there. Uh, there's a region centre half who's 86 overall in their back line as well. Alexander Izak is the man up top. But what we've got is Cody Gakpo. What a start right from kickoff. And when you're favourites for a tie, go out and play like it. When you are favourites for an occasion, go out and be that. Ben's done brilliantly there, I must say. And, oh, Harvey Elliott. How's your ball, mate? Ah, oh, I should have... That's fine. Ben McKenzie! Ben McKenzie! What a way to get your first goal in two years! The Scottish fullback has just doubled the lead of the Bay Arena. A little bit fortunate with the way the deflection came back to us. But once McKenzie saw a bit of space, Cody was there. But he said, no, young man, I'm going to go behind you and let you take it on yourself. Trusting the Wonder Kid. That's what a star player should do. Wonderful finish. Gives the kid the free run. And Ben obliges. Liverpool tune it up. What a win this will be. I love that so much, man. It's like... You know, Ben's not a rookie anymore. This is his third year with us, but he's still the kid. He's still the baby of this team, you know. We all accept that. But when, like, the star player, when the leader in the team, which, okay, Alisson's the captain, but the, the leader of our outfield, if you will, would be Cody Gakpo. Back-to-back -back Ballon d'Or winner, lest we forget. Instead of saying, no, 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 give me that ball. I want to add to my goal tally. Say, no, young man, this is your moment. You go take it. I trust you, man. I love that. Absolutely love that. The way he just backed off and was like, nope, no, nope, you ain't scored in two years, that's fine. I trust you, mate. I trust you to go and take this here. Oh, massive. And if we can hold on to this 2 0 win, there's Noah Okafor. Oh, ripples the roof in there. We'll be in a really healthy position heading back to Anfield. You've got to close this out now. Keep hold of the win. We shall. I wouldn't say we got one foot in the semis. Absolutely not. We've seen some amazing European comebacks over the years, but certainly I would say we're in the driving seat. About as good as we could hope for tonight. Tuna winning the Bayer Arena, kept Florian Verts and his crew calm and quiet and managed to get the two goals. Heading back to Anfield again, make us massive favourites now to make the semis. This is, this is ours to bottle from here, no doubt about it. And the kid's first goal in two years, a dagger in a Champions League quarterfinal. You love to see that. Right, next up, Burnley at home. Quite a solid team, they've got to be fair, but with seven games to go, targeting a win here where I would say five wins is all we need to win the championship. Six, officially. Let's get one of those six here. Come on, Liverpool. Okay, let's win it, mate. And now Trent. Looking for Diaz. Oh, this has got to be one. Hold on. Just keep going. One extra pass. One extra pass. Oh, there we go. Yes, Jack Clark. With the opener, Liverpool have the lead. One extra pass. It's it's my favourite saying when you're running the offence. The thing you repeat to yourself in your mind. One extra pass. One extra pass. It's going to be one man over there. Look at that. Diaz to Gakpo. Gakpo to Jones. Jones to Clark. It's just it's just such a nice 
little way of going side to side, you know, to find a bit of space and a through run on goal. Jack Clark with the opener, Liverpool in front. Like I said, six games officially with wins will see us win the championship. I think all we need is five. One here, and that's the perfect way to start the final run in. It's, oh, whoa, 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 I read that, read that. Gakpo and Diaz to the right. Easy money, onside. Foot oh my God. Well, those reactions say it all. How did I put it so far wide? No back. Got bent yet with him, mate. He's asking for it. Ball. And again. Oh. Yeah, okay, well, got a wonderful little jink. Once again, great passing move, great finish, game over. One down, five to go. Back to back 2 0 wins as you can see the chase to treble and a free P. And for the Premier League, one down, five to go. It's definitely ours to throw away from this position in touching distance. Win our home games, win the championship. Perfect start for the final running. Finally, I don't want to jinx it. We are starting to get a good run of form going after a tough one. Three wins in a row in all competitions. Let's make it four on the trot and progress to the semi finals of the Champions League tonight. Leverkusen in the second leg and Anfield holding a two goal lead. Got Gap on the bench, but hopefully won't need him tonight. Clean sheet and we're through to the final four. Come on, Liverpool. Yeah, I think we should be alright tonight. I hope. I mean, we've got a good front three anyway with Diaz in the Gap roles. I see if he can do that. With Clark on the left and Elliot on the right. I, I feel confident if we get a chance, we'd still be able to take it, even without Cody out there tonight. And if we get, if we do get a goal, that's it. It's over. Leverkusen aren't going to score three here at Anfield. don't think I've shipped here three here at Anfield all season long, to be honest. don't remember the last time I did. It's Kirkes, Clark, and this is the chance to prove it. Game over. Tie over. Liverpool in the final four. Yeah, I trusted Diaz tonight. I said, I'm having you spear my attack. Cody needs a breather. So this is your chance to be direct right through the middle and lead our front three as the main focal point of the offense. Louis said, no problem, Gaffer. Lovely first time ball through by Clark. Diaz with a finish. Leverkusen not scoring three tonight. That's us into the semi-finals for sure. Yeah, I say this all the time. And I know it sounds a bit obvious, but... If you, yes, well in I love Kwanzaa, man. If you can win the uh, the first leg of a European tie convincingly, that's such a massive, massive luxury. Now, going back into the second leg, especially in April, April alongside December is the busiest month of the football calendar. Knowing you can finally rest players in midweek, knowing that the job is kind of halfway done, I guess technically it is, um, that's, a, that's a massive bonus, you know, because it means with the FA Cup semi on the weekend against Spurs, I was about a bit worried about Cody heading into that one. He's going to be fine now. He's got a whole week to recover, so I won't need to bring him off the bench here. Oh, it's got to be two. Because we are oh, heading through to the semi-finals of the Champions League as well. Balls that one up. That would have guaranteed it for sure. But I still feel like it's done. Boobs his header. Oh, just over. Oh, wow. Oh, oh wow. Okay, well, uh, Noah Okafor has just given Leverkusen a, uh, a, a slight bit of... Hope here uh, with an unbelievable acrobatic overhead kick. You know, oftentimes I talk about like situation specific celebrations, and when I'm like, mate, if you've got to come back in a tie or come back in a game, why are you celebrating? Just go and pick the ball up. For a goal like this, mate, you can take your shirt off and your shorts as well if you want. You can run around the turf, and I don't really mind what you're celebrating like, because that is an unbelievable goal now. Wow. We talk about best goals in the save. That's one scored against me. That's the best opponent goal scored against me in the save. Unbelievable. Cele celebrate as much as you want, mate. You're still, go oh! you're still going out, and you're also going down to 10 men here as well. Froompong's hoping not to get a rare, but he's got one. That's a terrible, terrible foul on Ben McKenzie, that. But um, imagine how annoyed you'd be as well if you are ogre for you. Just see that. Just, just got your team back in the game with an unbelievable bit of technique, and now you're down to 10 men. Oh, dear. Oh, credit Leverkusen, didn't give up in the tie, even when going a goal down and 3-0 down on Aragut. I respect that a lot, as Trent plays a lovely fall. Oh, oh it's going in, I thought I scuffed it. But in the end, we do come through with a win on the night and the tie as well. Trent with a delicious ball into the middle. We know he loves to spread them in. And Jack Clark... <laughs> 
I thought I completely messed that one up. And Unai Simon knows. He knows. He should have saved that. Trent dinks it in. He scuffs it. And oh, goodness. Yeah, I mean, listen, Unai. Tie's over. Game's now over. But, um, oh, the Spaniard is going to want that one back. Liverpool win it late, courtesy of a, a scuffed game winner. But we'll take them any way they come. I love that. The duality of goals to get scored in football, you know. An unbelievable overhead kick and a sliced miss hit, you know. But listen, they still count the same as Liverpool get the win. 2-1, put us in the uh, place in that for the semis. I, I don't think that in the semi or the last 16 you get the draw which is kind of annoying, and it's because in European ties, they do the quarter in the semi-final draw together, which I, I've always said, I don't like that. I really don't like that. You know, don't, don't tell us the path all the way through. Just, uh, just, just, just do them one by one, tie by tie, you know, so we can't see the draw because we've already, uh, it's already been done, basically. It's just that we don't know... Um, who it was, because they'd only ever showed a quarter final in one animation, if that makes sense. Anyway, it's going to be... That is class! Absolutely class! Manchester City in the final four. Whoever we would have faced, it would have been incredibly tough. If I'm being honest here, I just didn't want Real Madrid. They knocked out last year. But in El Clasico semi... And Man City versus Liverpool has become a great rivalry over the past years as well. There's something about all same nation European knockout ties that I love. There's two of them in the final four. But if you want to win that treble, got to get through this one. FA Cup semi-final against Spurs where taking on Postacoglu's side. Tough season for them in the league, but still a great side. And whilst I will consider us favourites, it's not by a lot. Uh, Spurs heading into the game in the semi are lining up in a 4-2-3-1. They've still got Venom between the sticks, now 87 overall. And their back four is Max Ahrens. Of course, we sold to them with Bournemouth, uh, Dragosy. Uh, Lissandro Martinez moving on from the Red Devils and the new gen crews at left back. Uh, Basuma is their DM alongside another regen, Mancini, and the attacking midfield trio of Brendan Johnson on the right, Manuel Solomon on the left, and Hilson support Tammy Abraham up top. Spurs FA Cup semi going for our fifth win in a row in all competitions and a place in the FA Cup final. Let's go get it. Come on, Liverpool. Wow, how's that gone all the way to Tammy? And what a ball! Solomon. Hjelson. Oh, great finish. Spurs take the lead. 17 minutes in. I said we were favourites, but not by much. Cracking finish. And Tottenham do strike first in North London. Lovely turn by Manuel Solomon. And to, to, to get a shot away in this traffic here. And find the back of the net as well. That's a crisp finish. And Spurs draw first blood in the set. Oh, my goodness. In the semi. Well, 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 this was uh, not quite... Hang on a second. Oh, no, 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 no. He wants it again! Tottenham Hotspur turning it up in the semi. And there's stunned faces on the 45,000 Liverpool fans in Wembley. Doxy boy with his hands on his hips on the sidelines. Can't believe the star to this semi-final. Liverpool, oh, my God. Goodness, Liverpool 2-0 down. And maybe we were taking this for granted. I said we were favourites. We are playing like it. This has been an awful start. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's just calm ourselves down here. Manuel Solomon. No way. Oh, my God. Basuma makes it free. 26 minutes in. And Liverpool are 3-0 down. It's Mr. LV, the ex-Brighton defensive midfielder that has put Spurs 3-0 up in 27. What on earth has happened here? Well, listen, this, this is Liverpool Football Club. They don't know when to give up. They don't know when to throw in the towel, but this is awful. I, I keep on misplacing passes when trying to play out from the back. I'm shell-shocked. Spurs have been as clinical as it gets. This, this is disastrous. I'll tell you what, if this continues, this is going to be any score line you want. Spurs right now are playing a high press. I'm really struggling to, to play out from the back. And it, this is awful. Posta Coglu has got my number and I am getting exposed as a fraud here. Well, well, well. Um, there is no doubt about it. I'm getting humiliated here at Wembley. I'll, I'll tell you what, we need a miracle in this second half. 
Otherwise, we're, we're out in, in the series. This is embarrassing. Oh, no. No, no, no. No. Can I take over the tackle? It's four. It's four. 51 minutes in. The second half begins. And the question was, would we see a different Liverpool? Well, we haven't seen a different Spurs. It's a hat-trick for Hilton and Tottenham Hotspur. They're going to inflict my worst defeat on me as manager. Never mind just with Liverpool, but with Bournemouth as well. I have been absolutely humiliated. It is Tottenham 4, Liverpool 0. And the treble dreams are just dying. They're dying in the most embarrassing way possible. And the worst thing is, they're still half an hour to go. And it's going to get worse. Hilton blocked. Basuma plays it back and it's a fifth goal is coming at this point. I'm just thinking damage limitation from here. When you look back on the all-time great Tottenham Hotspur performances, I think this is going to be up there as one of the absolute best. Great ball by Curtis, but even if Clark finishes this... Oh, fuck, God. Didn't even go for a corner. This has been an inch-perfect Spurs display. Oh, Vicario, what a save. And they're not even going to allow us to get a consolation goal. This is when you know they are being up from here. 4 nil up, 40. The game's gone. The game's over, but they're still like, no. We are making sure we get a clean sheet as well. Vicario has just made a brilliant treble save. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm speechless here. Absolutely speechless. Gakpo heads what? This is unbelievable. I don't think I've had a tougher game than this in the entire FC. I think this is the hardest game I've ever played. I've been dominated in one of what was my all-time great seasons playing career mode in every save I've done. This is going to go down as one of my worst ever losses. That is the hardest game of FC24 I've played since I began back in September. Treble has been ended and I've been absolutely humiliated. You know, I talk a lot. I'm absolutely speechless. To quote Peter Drury, the end. The end. Make sense of that. Where do we go from here? Mate, I'm stunned. Um, I'm, I'm gobsmacked. I'm I, like, uh, 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 the three major honours we're going for, I, I, th I thought this was uh, not even close to being ours to lose, but I certainly consider us front runners. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm gobsmacked. I'm absolutely gobsmacked. And whilst the, the, the league is certainly ours to throw away from here, six clear with six to go. Um, right, well, what do I always say? When, 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 you, when, you've, when you've lost an objective, when you've failed a task, recalibrate, readjust, pick yourself up, move on to the next one. Treble's gone. I've been absolutely humiliated. And now it's just all about making sure we win the free P and, well, I guess a league and European double. Following game, Aston Villa away at Villa Park. Aiming to bounce back here on the back of my most humiliating loss in FC24. Come on, Liverpool, I suppose. Well, this is supposed to be a nice special thank you episode number 50, you know, when we... I... It's been ruined by that Icelandic playmaker. Um, oh God, it feels like FIFA 12. Um, I... I, I got smacked. Oh, no. No, 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 no. This, okay, all right, let, let everyone just calm down, all right? Oh my God, can you imagine if we choke the title from here? I mean, I don't want to imagine it, so I'm not going to. Nope, don't even need to think about the scenario in my head if I don't want to, so I'm not going to. I am picturing us winning the free peat right now in my head. It's a nice four. But it's not going to be a bloody reality if I keep playing like this. This is embarrassing. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing, Doxy boy! Come on. Pick it up. Readjust. Move on. God, give me that ball. Give me that ball. Give me that ball. Ah. 
Okay, hold on, hold on, Jarrell. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Shouldn't have brought you out there. Got a bit aggressive. Calm down. Six goals conceded in, what, two hours worth of football? Not even that? No. An hour and 50 minutes. Embarrassing. Pathetic. Come on. Oh, my. What? Pre pre you can call it pressure, you can call it whatever you like. At the end of the day, it's not good enough. This is embarrassing for me, man. Newcastle just taking the lead at the Etihad there. Uh, both teams directly below us. I prefer a draw, really, but... It shouldn't matter. Like, it, it, this is the thing. I say this all the time. Like, it really shouldn't matter. Like, I see you on the edge, Trent. Off the bar. It shouldn't matter. Like, do do your job. You 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 win, you know? Your fa favours are nice, but you shouldn't expect them, ask for them, or, you know, you can hope for them, but come on, do, do your job. Don't worry about what's going on elsewhere, man. Do your job. All right, now I've called in sick, because I'm doing nothing. How on earth are we going to beat Man City in the Champions League semis playing like this? This is just not going to cut it. <laughs> like, this is embarrassing, man. I'm not going to panic, but I certainly would if we lose three on the bounce. This game is probably done now, but do you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm empty in the bench. I'm empty in the bench. Even only down by two with four minutes to go. I, I, I need a fit starting 11 for the weekend game. Because at this rate, this, this, is, this is genuinely embarrassing for me, this. I can. Andrich. Appenda. Oh, oh, my God. Eight goals conceded in two games. Loss or not, there is such a thing as playing for pride, Mr. Doxy Boy. Speechless right now. Utterly, utterly speechless. The only good thing is that for those that like to watch me struggle, you're getting your fill right now, no doubt about that. I'm getting more dominated than a man that's into BDSM. Doxy Boy the sub, who knew? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm going to shake my head as much as I like, but I've only got myself to blame. This is pathetic. Treble has gone. Double's going to go at this rate. There's no way we beat Man City in the Champions League series playing like this. I wouldn't be surprised if you end up trophyless at this rate. This is perfect. This is honestly back to back two of the worst games I've played in FC24. If it's three losses on the trot, I am going to start panicking. Unfortunately, Newcastle beat Man City in a battle between second and third, so the gap remains at six with five to go. It's still ours to throw away from here. We only need four wins in five, but based on these past two games, <laughs> I mean, I can get one win. Following games are really tough one as well. Brighton, Roberto De Zerbi side away on the south coast. Can we pick ourselves up here on the back of back-to-back -back humiliation? I'm not feeling confident, but come on, we, we can do this. It can just be a blip, not a disastrous run. Come on, Liverpool. So we talk about form a lot and how overpowered it is. And, you know, when, you, when you've had like four wins in a row, you feel like you can beat anyone, home or away. Uh, and, of course, it's the same with losses as well. I see you, Cody. Go on, mate. On the shoulder. Same with losses. Sa sa same with losses. When you've had a couple on the bounce, it's going to be really hard to... Bust out of it directly afterwards. So the sooner you can put an end to your loss streak, the better. Okay, eight minutes in, we're a goal out. But scoring isn't a problem for us, I don't think. It's it's defending. We conceded eight goals in the last two games, and it probably should have been more. Newcastle in front of the City ground too. We've got to match their result and keep them at bay, man. This is a crucial, crucial game towards the end of the season here for all three of the top boys. Gagpo's header! Loops over James Trafford and Cody doubles the lead 14 minutes in. Come on! Well, the great teams are going to struggle at some point during the season. It's just how it goes. It's a long old season. You've got loads to compete for. Um, but the greatest teams will eventually get it sorted. They will stabilise. They will steady the ship. And we're doing that fittingly on the south coast. This win, keep running. 
is oh well would have been in the bag had it not been for James Trafford. We've got the uh, the Champions League semi first leg in the week, so I want to get a third goal and make sure this is confirmed. Oh no 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 no. I was going to say before I sub anyone off. Uh, no, no, I think I can make at least one sub. Oh my goodness gracious me. You know when it rains, it pours. Not just in career mode, but in life as well. Cody Gakpo, get yourself down. When I get the ball, I'm kicking it straight out of touch. It, well, it might go dead for a uh, kickoff here if Brighton score. No, Kirk, just hoof it out. Hoof it out, hoof it out. Get Cody right down that tunnel. Because if that is a broken toe. I don't know how it could be since he was holding his arm, but you know how it goes in career mode. He's, he's walking fine, to be fair. I, I think he's going to be all right. I think, I think it's just going to be a bruise. But if it's any longer than four weeks, in fact, any longer than a bruise, I would say, even four weeks, and he is going to be done for the season. Win might be in the bag, but at what cost? I think we are going to see this out. 21 minutes to go. We could do with a clean sheet after none in three. Uh, oh, Forest 2-2 two -two there with Newcastle. Well done, boys. That's going to be a big swing now as well. Newcastle looking to gain momentum on the back of the win of the Etihad and then failing to win at the City ground. As the, 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 the bench boys link up for what will be crum, the dagger. It's over and Liverpool respond. Albeit a game later than we were hoping, but at least we get there in the end. Steady chip on the south coast. Liverpool freeing it up on Brighton. And that is first league goal of the season for Felix Afina Jan as well. But if Cody Gakpo is done for the rest of the campaign, he's going to be thrown in like Matt Saracen. <laughs> There's a reference for you for the rest of the season as you try and close out the free peat and a league and European double. Let's go back to the main menu and got my fingers crossed right now as oh, Newcastle must have found a late winner there at the city ground to keep the gap the same. But again, destiny's in my own hands. Shouldn't even worry about that. But the injury for Cody Gakpo was... Thank you, thank you, thank you, FC Gods. No, Felix, you're, uh, you're back to the bench, mate. We don't need you just yet. But he will miss the first leg of that Champions League semi, Cody. That's still a big blow for us there. Yep, here we go. First leg of the Champions League semi. Like I said, when it was drawn, I love all same nation European ties. But to be honest, they're heading into this one. I'm not feeling confident. Travelers to the Etihad, despite winning against Brighton, knowing we've lost two of our last three. Treble dreams have ended. And we're missing Cody Gakpo as well. We are up against it in the first leg tonight against Guardiola's side. They're lining up in a 4-2-3-1 with Edison still between the sticks. And the back four is Akimi, a, a, a new gen Delu, who looks really, really good. Possibly the pre gen the lit, I'm not too sure. Uh, Caleb Bacoli and Araujo have got starting a left back tonight. Uh, Valvode, uh, Valverde sorry, and Peroni make up the CM duo with Alex Robertson, who I often see trusted by Guardiola for big games against me in the CAM role and the front three, as good as it can get. Jeremy Doku on the right, Erling Haaland through the middle and Phil Foden on the left. First leg of the Champions League semi, I'll take a draw heading back to Anfield here knowing we're not at a disadvantage going back into the second leg. Huge game without Cody. Come on, Liverpool. Yeah, I often find, like I said, same nation, European ties, just so fun to, to watch. Um, I mean, some absolutely unbelievable ones over the years in, 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 in different countries. Uh, you know, oh, hang on. And if we're just talking... <laughs> just talking uh, English, same, same nation, European ties. I thought the Spurs Man City one several years ago was fantastic. Liverpool Chelsea back in the noughties. I, I, I know both my Liverpool and Chelsea fans will remember that one being absolutely class. This one might have the same sort of bite and fingers crossed. It's Liverpool. He'll come out on top. Keep it, keeping it very calm though. Very calm. Luis Diaz once again trusted in the CF role for the second European night in a row. And once again, he's not let me down with the early opener. Haaland! Oh, he's crossed it. He's crossed it to the middle. And thankfully, it's going to be kept in play by Doku. Now, that was out of character. But in the end, it might be the best thing because the chance remains alive. Doku, down the right. Dispossessed by Hato, and he just can't rent the corner. This is going to be a feisty one tonight. Really, really up for this. Yeah, everyone was looking forward to Haaland versus Gakpo tonight. In the end, it's uh, Haaland versus Diaz. And it's Luis, the stand-in, that's... Oh, no, it's going to be cut back by Araujo. It's drawn first blood. And, you know, ha Haaland, I, I, I really struggled against Haaland at the start of FC. Most back lines do. No shame in that. That's really well done. What a move. 
Oh, what a goal it would have been. Wonderful passing move, but just couldn't keep it down with Luis as he converts for three points. Still leading by one, but that could have, that could have been two, that. Golden chance. Should have at least tested Edison. I know it's pre-game as well. There was a couple of big calls for me in the lineup. And again, one was putting Diaz at CF, but also Kwanzaa in for Kanate. I say often, I play him in big games because he never lets me down. Once again, he's been watertight in that back four at keeping Erling Haaland quiet. 45 minutes away from a massive win, lest we forget, without Cody Gakpo heading back to Anfield. This would be huge, this. No, 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 careful, careful, careful. Yeah, great tackle, but Booz couldn't clear. He'll drop to Valverde on the edge. And that's all the great teams need. Just a sniffer goal. A little side of it from the corner of their eye. And they're going to punish you. But it's what I often say about what makes the AI and always so hard to play against. It's like you have to do things almost flawlessly at the back. Otherwise, you will be punished for it. With boobs there, if you don't react... Oh, sugar. Oh, thank God Cameron's going to get there. Yes, win it, mate. If you don't react quickly enough, the ball's being nipped off your toes. Simple as that. And they're going to punish you from that range. Okay, all right. It's fine. Tied at 1-1, but I would have said pre-game. This will do me. Let's just keep it calm here. Oh, what a ball that is. Wow. I was admiring it, but I should have been trying to cut it out. Though I don't think I could have done so anyway. Perfectly weighted. Jeremy Doku holds it up. Here's Federico Valverde. who scored the leveler. He's gone for it, and Allison. Uh, I, th I think he had it covered there. And in the end, does oh sugar claim it as well? But this is this has been a poor second half here. Ireland, Foden. From behind to in front. This is Manchester City. Erling Haaland holds it up brilliantly. And off lows to Foden in space. Just sees the pocket of it to run in between Ben and Kwanzaa. And fire home what could be the winner. We are set for our third loss in four. I'm going to need to come from behind. Come on, ben, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, don't make it through. <sighs> Boobs atones for his earlier error and smashes in a level. Of, what a game. You know, there are some games with FC you just don't want them to win because they're brilliant to play. And I often say this, it's great when you dominate. It's brilliant when you win like 4 or 5 nil in a big game against a big team. But these are my favourite types of games. Jeremy Doku restores the lead. There's been three goals in I think 11 minutes. And once again, the pendulum strikes to the blue side. And Manchester City are in front again. What a game. And there's going to be a whole second leg to play at Anfield. Which is why we'll go into it trailing. But not out completely. Corner. Last chance. 89th minute. Harvey's delivery. Headed away. Curtis. Levi Cole shot deflected and claimed. And that is going to do it. What a contest. But after three losses in four, these scenes tell the story. Manchester City strike first blood in the semi-final tie and take a massive step towards the final place. It's not over yet, but we'll have to come from behind at Anfield if we're to make the Champions League final. Liverpool's treble dreams have gone. The double dreams are on the brink. The season is capitulating. But it's not over yet. And guys, we're about two-thirds of the way through the video. If you're enjoying it, please do consider dropping a like. This has been a class episode, but after three losses in four... We've got to pick ourselves up here. Four games to go in the league. I'd say just two more wins really will be enough. Two wins and a draw mathematically confirms it. Let's try and get one of those final two wins in this one here. Manchester United and Old Trafford our following game. After three losses in four, got to put it out of the bag here at Old Trafford. Come on, Liverpool. Yeah, I feel incredibly confident about the, uh, the league right now. Again, 
the, the reason I say only two wins is required is because of the goal difference swing. Our goal difference is not far superior, but superior enough to feel confident we would finish above. Um, I thought it was going to be a goal update there, just letting us know the score. Uh, whoever would, would finish level on points with. So it's, it's almost like I always say that the goal difference sometimes can feel like an extra point on the board. You're like, oh, Gap, you're on there, you're on there, Gapo. Cody, back in the team, come on! So I would say just two wins is all we need here. Um, two wins is all we need. But I'm going to try and give it calm, man. If we win this one, I, 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 think, I think this is the game here. If we win this, I, th I think this title is, is surely ours, man. Cody missed the first leg. He certainly won't miss the second against Man City. Perfect warm-up for it. Scoring half an hour in her Old Trafford. Liverpool lead, and I'd say, yeah, we're taking one giant step towards the title. If we can hold on to this. As Trent's done brilliantly there. Oh, it's not how I wanted to play it too, but it might be kept in play by Jack Clark. And it is. Well done. There's Konate. Is it back to Colwell? See Eunice there. I can't get him through. I can get Clark through. Now I can get Eunice through for the second. No, straight at O'Nana. Should have been two. Oh, yes. And yeah, if, 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 the, if these results stay the same. Gonzalo Ramos, villain to hero. If he, uh, if, if his goal ends up being the game winner and we win this, it's 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 uh, it's, it's it's basically over. It's basically over with three to go, and all we need is a point to to win the title from there. So if results stay the same here, we are one draw away from the championship. Well, depending on how Newcastle get, of course, but. 45 minutes away from putting it right here at Old Trafford and taking not just a small step, but a massive step towards the free P. I mean, I often say this, like, favours favors are nice. Favours are lovely when you get them, but you should never expect them. So just just do your job. And at the moment... Oh, Clark, can I get it to you? Oh, it's going to be it. Yes, come on. No, no, no. Flags up for... Offside? Well, I didn't get to see a replay. It just went straight... It can't have been offside because he was behind the ball. How? Hang on. All right. Just give me a second there. How could that possibly have been offside? He was behind the ball. When? Oh, hang on. Oh, no, no, no. It's, 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 is he just off there? Yes, he is indeed. No, no, correct call. And he's just in front. Yeah, do you know what? That, oh, that's tight. That is... Ve at first, I thought Clark was behind the ball there. But actually... Oh, that's... I think he's just in front. I think he's in front by... It's hard to get a completely the right frame when he hits the ball. I think it's there, maybe? There. I think it's there. Yeah, I think he's just in front. Oh, that is eagle-eyed and then some from the lino. He's just in front. He's chipped in. Wow. What a great call that is. Harvey. Sue McKenzie. Um, ben. Whips one in. Oh, what a goal that would have been. Jack was, was on for that moment there. But uh, Onana palms it away. In the end, I think it was quite a comfortable save, to be fair. We had to make it. Ten to go, though. But despite the disallowed goal, we've we've been in control here. We've been, we've been in control all game long. Yes. Val, oh, I don't know why I'm celebrating that, because that's actually a Man City goal. But Valverde, I guess I'm celebrating the scoreline. Valverde's got one back. But if that scoreline remains the same, I think it's over. I think this is going to be the free P all but confirmed. Boys are going to be tired for that second leg against Man City at Anfield because I haven't made a single sub in the game. I wanted to make sure my starters could close this one out for us. And that they did. A disallowed goal for offside in the end did not matter one bit. And you see the celebrations at full time, not just because it's a rival victory, but because we know we have just taken one giant leap towards, not mankind, but a treble. Uh, I should say a free peat even. Treble's gone, we know that. But a free peat, if you will. Which, again, I've never done before. I, I would say if Man City did lose in the end, I mean, surely. Surely, surely, surely. Newcastle played the following day, so we quickly do one advance in the calendar and stop short of that semi second leg against Man City. But if they if they fail to win, it's it's over. No, they did win, so it's, it's cut to seven, but three to go. It means that one more win. We can win the title and get our revenge against Spurs. Who they themselves, they're not safe, by the way, Spurs. They're not safe. Oh, no, they are now. They are now. Okay, they are now. They weren't safe, but they are now. Yeah, but we could still beat Spurs and win the title in North London. That would still feel somewhat redeeming after our humiliation against them 
at Wembley. One win away from my first ever free P. So this is it. Second leg of the Champions League semi-final home to Manchester City. Probably my biggest game as Liverpool manager. Let's be honest here. Heading into this one. Trailing by a goal after a defeat last week. But this is Anfield, this is European night, it's not over yet. Uh, Man City lining up with a 4 3 3 once again. Two changes to their lineup and a slight change in where, who play, who plays where. Uh, Aziza Gabor comes in for Kimi at right back, but also Valverde is now going to play on the right hand side with Doku going on the bench as Matias Nunez comes in through the middle. Second leg, training by one. I'm not confident, but again, this is Anfield. Come on, Liverpool. Yeah, I mean, we just grinded out a 1-0 win against Manchester United, to be fair. So that's a, a good way to bounce back after a tough run. You know, three losses in four. But, you know, two two wins in five, trailing by one. Granted, Gakpo's back in the lineup, and that's massive. But I'm, I'm not confident. This is an unbelievable Man City team. We're in a hole already. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Gakpo run. Oh, massive interception now. We, I think we need to score early. That's going to be the key. If we can score early... Oh, what a brilliant... Oh, my God. That is just unbelievable. If we can score early, I think we're going to be all right. But at this point here, you'd, you'd think we're going to concede early as Alisson denies Haaland. Yeah, I don't think we're going to do it tonight, man. I really don't. I really don't. Funny thing is, I was looking at their bench pre-game as well, and it's ridiculous. Like, it's just... Hold on. Get in the middle clock. Jack, no, Trent, no, what an absolute bottle job for fire. It's fine, like, there's time, but you're not going to get a better chance than that. Come on, man. I was going to say, as I looked at Man City's bench pre-game, it's unbelievable. Like, it's, it's ridiculous. I thought our depth was getting good. This is a different level, man. The depth they've got is extraordinary. We, uh, oh, man. We, we're going to need something special here because this is a special team. Jack, I see you. Don't think I don't see you because I do. Ugh, right, well, this is going to be 1-0 then, isn't it? This is going to be 1-0. That's why I'm talking so casually because I know. Yes, come on! I can finish that chance. Nine to go. We're level. On aggregate, that's what I need to do. Just you know, just stay calm. I love that for me. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Kabore. Thank you very much, mate. Now, if you want to stay away, that would be great as well. <laughs> Come on! Oh, the Elliot! It's in at the far post. Liverpool. Come from behind to lead in five minutes. What a clip ball by Kirkes. And Harvey Elliott, not known for his heading. But when I brought him in, I said, I want you to train on my centre halves. Do what they do. Stand strong, tackle, and head the ball. Harvey Elliott puts Liverpool in front. Easy, easy, easy. This is a 90-rated region on the ball. Jerome Daniel. I think might be the Benzema region. I'm not 100% sure it might be Haaland. Denied. Alisson gets down low and pushes it behind. But here come Manchester City. We've been waiting for it. We've been waiting for it. They've arrived at Anfield with 25 on the clock. Can we grind this out and make the final? Or are they going to complete an epic comeback of themselves? Alisson, great claim. And just dives on the floor. And I've got no shame in doing this at all. I'm time wasting because we need to hold on to this. Come on. Into the final minute. We've weathered a mini storm. And I'm making my classic. Bring on a, uh, a DM for a CM move. Just for one extra defensive piece to see this out. McKenzie does brilliantly and he can't prevent the corner. And this is it. The final chance possibly of the tie for Man City to salvage it. They've left Edison back for it as Foden whips it in. Allison comes, you got to claim it. He's done just about enough, but it's fine. It's fine. It's more than fine. Diaz, run, run. He doesn't need to. Whatever he votes a full time and that will do it. Liverpool complete the turnaround and are heading to the Champions League final. Two goals in six minutes. 
And from a goal down in the Etihad to winning it by one at Anfield, it's that man the hero. Harvey returns and sends us into the Champions League final. Not a classic of the second leg, but a 2 0 scoreline is enough for us to make it through. Liverpool are heading to the Champions League final. I have to say, that was a. Uh, a surprisingly uneventful second half, really. After we scored the late two goals in the first half, I thought we were going to see fireworks in the second like we did at the Etihad, but instead, no. We hold on, we grind it out. And I've just seen who we've got. Real Madrid in the Champions League final. We just can't avoid them. We've got them again. They knocked out last year in the quarters, lest we forget. We've got him again in another CL final. That is third in, I think, what would be seven or eight years. That's unbelievable. No, 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 no. It would be, it'd be like ten years, wouldn't it? Was it 2019 when, when Real Madrid first faced Liverpool? And it was the uh, the infamous uh, concussion carriers game? Um, was that 20, 2018? 2017? 2019? No, it would be like third in ten years. For, 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 for in ten years, I think it is. But but even so, it's still it's still a heck of a uh, heck of a run, if you will. Not quite the Warriors versus the Cavs in that stint, but it's it's still a uh, a regular occurrence, right? Uh, before we get there, though, before we get there, as we chase the league and European double, we can win one of two trophies we're going for here in North London. Spurs away at Tottenham, where a win guarantees the free peat. We're definitely underdogs to that CL final, but we surely shouldn't choke away the Premier League from here. Surely not. That would be the worst choke of all time. Let's get it done here with three games to go. Our final away day, and let's end the away days with the silverware as well. My first ever free peak. Let's get it done. Come on, Liverpool. Yeah, I did not see us overcoming that deficit pre-game, man. But the, the funny thing is, we we could so easily have got a goal down from remembering the first 15 minutes. Allison uh, making a really important stop on Haaland from, from range. Had, had that gone in, had Alisson not bailed us out there, what a ball, Musa. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, yes! Um, I think we would have lost a tie. I think, we, I think we would have lost a tie had it not been for the captain, the veteran, who we decided not to replace at the start of the season, despite now being in his mid to late 30s and going down. Let's just say that save right there was worth this extra year by itself. Because in the end, we, we stood firm and then we got the two goals right before the break to, to make it through. And 27 minutes in, we need this game as well. If we can hold on to a clean sheet here like we did in the week, it's three titles in a row for Liverpool. And my first ever Premier League free peat with one team. Oh, no, Tammy, Tammy, Tammy. Oh, what a finish. Well, that didn't last long, did it? <laughs> Oh dear! I love. I, I just love like po point poignant moments and like you know poignant parts of a save. And I, I obviously I always try and dress them up in my commentary. And I think I do a pretty decent job at that. Um, it's a bit annoying when he gets cancelled out straight afterwards. <laughs> it's alright though. It's okay. Pl plenty of time to restore this lead and and still win this title this afternoon. Come on. Well, still tied at one one. And and like I said, we don't we don't need to win this. Diaz run. Because there'd still be two more chances to do it. And to be fair, you know, Man City and Newcastle have both got to win back to back to another chance. So, you know, even if we weren't to win here, but, but they failed to match our result, we're still with Jamies anyway. But what I always say, favours are nice, help is nice, but don't expect it and just do your job if you can. And that's all you can do. Luis Diaz puts us back in front. Hold on to this, hold on to the title. Two to go. We're basically there. Boys are absolutely gassed. Gakpo's out of energy. So for the for the penultimate game of the season, where we'll lift the title against Man City, we hold on to this. Oh, Ben, brilliantly done. Which we're going to do so now. It's not enough time. 
I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw out a backup side for it and just rest everyone because the boys will need some time to recover before the CL final, which means that we'll have a guard of honour, which obviously we don't. We, ne we never get to see it. But hypothetically, imaginatively, we'll have a guard of honour and <laughs> the Man City team will be clapping our B team because that's who we're playing on Wednesday night. Well, we'll live the title because it is done. The win confirms it regardless of what would have happened with Man City and Newcastle. It is over. It is done. And dog's history is made. In today's episode in the save, for the first time ever, we've three pieces of a Premier League side, and Liverpool win three on the bounce. And it wouldn't have mattered anyway. It wouldn't have mattered anyway, because Burnley uh, beat Man City 2-1, so it wouldn't have mattered anyway. It literally would not have mattered anyway. I know it would have done, because uh, Newcastle just, just won on the Sunday, so actually no. To be fair, to be fair we, we did need to win, because whilst Man City slipped up, Newcastle... Ended up uh, beating our, uh, our former team, Bournemouth. So here we go. Put up the game of the season. Uh, might make us our final one or possibly try and squeeze in the final day. But ne neither of them matter now. Our final two games, both at home against our former team, Bournemouth, on the final day. And Man City in the week as well. Where tonight we'll lift the title here at Anfield with our B team. Because I'm resting everyone as the starters are shattered. Question is, who, who are we going to give the captain's armband to? I ain't decided yet. You'd have seen it, but I haven't decided to wear it. So I opted for Kelleher in the end. I, well, I think probably deserves it as well, to be fair. In fact, he definitely deserves it. Come on. If, you, if you're willing to be a backup goalkeeper for your entire career, like Steve Harper at Newcastle, um, but unlike Steve Harper, oh, dude, what was that? Stay, stay at the club for your entire career, knowing you'll never be the starter. Let's be honest, you'll always be the backup. But you embrace that role. You embrace that role. And occasionally you'll get trusted to start some big games. But for the most part, you'll always be the backup. Oh, great save. And you just do your job. Yeah, I, I think you deserve it, mate. I, I think you deserve to be rewarded for that loyalty. Because that's what that is. That is loyalty. Keller, Keller could be a starting goalkeeper at a lot of Premier League sides. Or maybe a lot. But de definitely a few Premier League sides. He could be a starter, no doubt. Like, for example, if he moved on to Sheffield United, he'd be a starter there, you know. But no, he stays loyal to Liverpool. And now he's getting rewarded with a captaincy on the final day, or the Panama game, I should say, where he will get to, to lift that Premier League trophy. Rewarding the loyalty, man. Yes! As the backup boys take the lead. By the way, for those curious, uh, Alisson has 18 clean sheet so we can't uh oh oh wait 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 oh no 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 Haaland finishes took his time there but uh does does get one in uh in what is a meaningless game but again they'd still be disappointed to lose with our backup side out there one one T took his time good finish so he'll lift the trophy Keller but he won't keep a clean sheet in his uh what will probably be solitary Premier League appearance of the season I think I was going to say, I'm not sure if I squeeze in. 18, 18 clean sheet for Allison. So he can't, he can't get even close to the Petr Cech record or set a PB. So no, no point in starting him anyway. And Haaland holds it up well. And there's Foden. Oh. Now with eight to go. That's again, a, bit of a bit of a damper on things. But to be fair, got a backup side out there against Man City. The fact we were leaving, to be fair, was, uh, was mightily impressive. But they've, they've come from behind to lead themselves now. Yeah, they can have what is going to be a, uh, a meaningless Premier League victory. We've got to win against them in the bigger games. And we still might not lose anyway. Ben Toke bags the equaliser right from kickoff. And in the end, we might keep the unbeaten run going as well. What a finish that was. Oh, no, no. Oh, that's so poor from me. Oh, my God. That's embarrassing. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, guys. Like, you know me. I never sweep anything under the rug. That is one of the weakest bits of defending I've ever done. I mean, like I said, in the grand scheme of things, it really doesn't matter. But it's a shame to lose the... Look at this. Uh, yeah, you're allowed to go through if you want, mate. Off you go. Off you go. <laughs> Rojas, looking at me, controlling him, like, do you want me to make a tackle or let him walk past? Oh, it's walk past. I wouldn't have thought as a Premier League centre half that would be a good thing to do, really, with the game on the line. <laughs> it's Valverde, let him past. <laughs> that's, that's terrible. 
<laughs> just sees Federica running at him. He's like, no, I don't want this smoke. I don't, I don't want this one on one duel. Just let him through. Let him through. Let him through. Oh, dear. <laughs> what a shame. Nice little winning run of three in a row. And it... it <laughs> Defending you've ever seen. Slight bit of damper on the moment, but in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't matter. We lose the game, but we win the title. We'd already won it. And Liverpool's backup side, whilst they might taste the feet, will get to lift the trophy. Everyone in the squad is needed if we want to win silverware come the end of the campaign. And they'll get rewarded by getting their hands on the trophy. You know when you make a mistake in your gameplay and you think to yourself, ah, it probably wasn't as bad as I thought it was. No, nah, it was worse. I just watched that bit of footage back again with Rojas and that is one of the worst and weakest bits of defending I have ever done. And that is saying something. My goodness, what an awful way to lose the game. It doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. We still won the title. Kelleher gets to lift it in front of the Anfield favour as a reward for his loyalty. And the boys have got a rest heading into the final game of the season where I'll play a mixture of stars and first team players just to make sure they're not rusty for that CL final against Real Madrid where we'll be going for that league and European double. So final game of the season, meaningless one, but it's Bournemouth at home where there's very little to play for on the final day. We, we could see Leeds overtake Wolves for seventh place. Other than that, there's literally nothing to be decided. A really anticlimactic final Premier League day. Even so, mixture of starters and bench players this one. Our final game of the season as the free peak. First time ever in Doc's history has been confirmed. And we take on Bournemouth on the Premier League final day. Let's at least bow out of a win here going to that CL final. Come on, Liverpool. Easy. 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 We're a goal down. Antonio Nusa drills it in. And... The Norwegian international is, uh, has given Bournemouth a uh, surprise lead. Well, this is not looking good for that CL final. Because, again, it doesn't matter the competition you're playing in. It doesn't matter the, uh, the lineups you've got out there. It doesn't matter who you're playing. Um, it still counts towards the form book. And we know with form being so OP, you don't really want to go, in, gonna go into the biggest game in your entire history on the back of back-to-back -back losses. That's a foul ref. There's got to be at least a booking as well, that. So, uh, yeah, there's plenty of time. Plenty of time, but this is uh, not quite what I was hoping. Oh, it's a straight red. Wow. Mancini, to be fair, it was a reckless tackle. It was really out of control. And granted, oh, yeah, oh, it's a scissor, actually. Do you know what? Initially, I was like, oh, it might have been a bit harsh, that. No, 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 no. That's a scissor. That's always very dangerous, that, when you scissor a leg. Um, so that's uh, a thing. Trent Alexander-Arnold from the free kick. Hits the wall and it deflects over for a corner. Hot hole out of play. And now we've got the man advantage as well. I feel confident we, uh, we should be able to find ourselves at least a leveller from here. So second half off and underway. And still down by one to ten men Bournemouth at home. But the, the thing that's going to play into our favour here. And this is something I really want to touch on very briefly. Hold on. As I'll finish this with Trent easily is that you might notice that when a team goes down to 10 men sometimes the AI manager will make an adjustment to plug the gap if you will and sometimes they won't and when they don't it's really unrealistic and so annoyingly I'm going to be honest easy because it's an exploit Mancini's gone down and it needs now that Bournemouth haven't made the adjustments they still have a man light in the back four. Normally when that happens, they'll, they'll bring one of these offensive pieces down and cover the gap and bring on a centre-half. Bournemouth haven't done that. So it means they're playing without an LCB. So you might notice on the read, the radar, sorry, let's get back to the main menu here, at the main menu, to the gameplay here, um, they're, missing, they're missing an LCB. So they've got an RB, an LB, and an RCB. There's no LCB. So Hugo Gillet is trying to fill in at both DM and LCB. He can't cover both roles at once. So it means that... We love that. It means that if we just get in behind, there's no one there. There's, there's literally no one in that LCB spot. 
Jules has got to do both the RCB and the LCB, and as good as this guy is, it's going to be hard to be doing that. It's just, it's one of those moments where it's like, it just makes the game quite easy when that happens, you know. And it's something I do hope EA look into. More intelligent in-game adjustments are needed. I mean, that's, that's not even intelligence. That's just common sense. You can't play with one CB and two fullbacks. Jules has got to cover all of that ground there against our front three. He's not going to be able to do that. EA need to, need to look into that. They, they need to make more sensible, again, common sense in-game adjustments for moments like that. It makes it too easy to play against. Oh, they're looking for a, uh, a leveler though. They've got no problems going forward. And they've got it. Cucho Hernandez drills in. It's 2-2. It's two -two. Wow, this, this is embarrassing. This, this is embarrassing. There's absolutely no way we beat Real Madrid in that CL final playing like this. Tell you what, today we've, we've had some great success. Making our first European final the save. Winning the free peat. But it's, it's not come without some embarrassing moments too. Fortunately though... I still think we should win this because there's still a gaping hole in that Bournemouth back line. That's going to do it. Yep, not exactly the best way to end the season, but a win on the final day against our former team to get back to anyways on the back of the loss to Man City. But we will need to tighten up if we are to beat Real Madrid. No clean cheats in our last three games. Five goals conceded in two. Yeah, please to end the season with no injuries heading to that European final. Well, we've got to be a lot better if we are to recapture that Champions League, defensively in particular. And we shall end today's special thank you episode number 50. We're looking at the final Premier League table this season where we did win the title of a couple of games to go, holding off Newcastle United by four points to win the championship with the second best offensive record in the division. The best belonged to Newcastle, who scored 86 goals this year, but once again, best defensive record. What's that old saying? Goals win games, defense wins championships, as we do indeed win the free peak for the first time in Doc's history. Uh, Man City and Arsenal also wrapped up the top four, Manchester United in fifth, Chelsea sixth, and Wolves in the end did finish in seventh place with Leeds, Bournemouth and Forest wrapping up the top ten. An awful season for Spurs, they ended up surviving by five points. The bottom three, West Ham, Southampton and Luton Town. And as for the individual statistics this season, Cody Gakpo winning the Golden Boot once more. Four clear of Erling Haaland, 31 in 36. Didn't get into the 40 club in the end, despite the red hot start. I don't know if I'll get another player in the 40 club in this year's FC, man. I really don't. It's a harder game for me this year, so maybe... I'll never do it again. You never know. But uh, Jack Clark won the assist title with 14 in 34. It was a Liverpool 1 2 3 there. You'd love to see that. Uh, including Trent, Gakpo, Diaz, and Jones, all in the top 10 as well. We shared the ball around very nicely here at Anfield. Now to the Golden Glove, third in a row for Allison. Uh, nowhere near close to the record. He equal back in season one. But even so, 18 in 37 for Allison. And, uh, yeah, showing his worth despite his declining years as club captain. And to end the season off, we see that Erling Haaland won the Player of the Year. The goalkeeper of the tournament went to Alisson. But as always, he wasn't in the team of the season. Trubin was between the sticks and the back four. So Kirk is a McKenzie, our fullbacks maker, with that new gen or pre-gen, possibly Delu and Araujo from Man City to CB duo. Jack Clark was in there, though, as was Trent Alexander-Arnold, alongside Guimar Reyes and Kubo from Newcastle in the midfield four. And the top two, Brian Brobby and Cody Gakpo. And that will do it for today's episode, guys. So massive thank you for watching the special thank you episode number 50 of the Realistic Career Mode, guys. I really hope you have enjoyed it. And if you have, then please do drop a like. Much love to you all. Have a fantastic day. And we'll return in the next one with the season finale, our final episode of season six, and our third year at Anfield as we go for our first ever Champions League of the Save, taking on Real Madrid. Classic Liverpool versus Real Madrid in the final. Going for a league and European double. Trying to put the icing on the cake on an incredible, incredible season. Have a fantastic day, guys. Much love to you all. And I'll see you for the season finale of of the realistic career mode going for that league and European double very soon.